Hello everyone, depending on where you're watching me from, let me take this chance to welcome you to my YouTube channel and um, this is actually the first time I'm doing this and um, I'm kind of nervous but uh, let's get it started. Um, so I want to uh, encourage any one of you who has not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel to kindly do so. Basically, I want to speak to you about medical laboratory science. So this is a course that has been uh, underlooked by many and uh, most people don't really know what it entails. Uh, but um, I want to break it down to you into details so that at least you have an insight of what the course really entails. Uh, uh, so I did mine as an undergraduate um, uh, at Masena University, Kenya. The course is also called uh, Clinical laboratory science or medical technologist or medical laboratory science all those names fit it so most people confuse it with the people who repair the machines that the doctors use but that is not usually the case so uh, yeah, the, a medical laboratory scientist is actually the man or the person behind the testing of the various kinds of diseases so the person basically deals with the body fluids the biopsies uh, urine samples blood all those samples are brought to the lab for testing and that is what we actually do in the field they we do what basically is called clinical diagnosis and 70 percent of clinical diagnosis is based on the laboratory result uh, so much of the work done by uh, medical laboratory scientists includes uh, interpreting results and of course you only interpret the results after you have done the correct test, um, statistical analysis, calibration of equipment, maintaining of those equipments that we use. We also maintain the equipments from day to day and we must ensure that the results that are produced are of quality. Quality results is what matters most. So uh, most of the common tests performed include complete blood counts, liver function tests, kidney function tests, most parasitological tests we do almost all the tests culture and sensitivity but our interaction with the patient is minimal that is one area that i must put across our interaction with the patient is minimal and sometimes we are usually required that um, we are usually required to obtain the blood samples from the patient themselves so that is uh, that th this part of obtaining the blood sample is called phlebotomy so basically when you enroll for a degree in medical laboratory science, first of all, you'll, you'll, you'll do the basics of medicine. You'll have to do biochemistry, you'll have to do human anatomy, you'll have to do some chemistry that is in organic and organic chemistry. Um, that is just like a building block. Then as you go on to second year, you now start specializing in the various branches like parasitology, uh, immunology, histology, so these are the various branches in, uh, in, in, in medical laboratory science. Uh, we have uh, a few branches uh, that include hematology, parasitology, uh, microbiology, uh, clinical chemistry, um, serology, serology also some slash it with immunology uh, since they go hand in hand. Uh, we have the hematology department. The other department is the blood transfusion whereby if you require blood to be transfused to you, we actually, we are the ones who screen the blood. We screen it for any disease like HIV, hepatitis B, syphilis. We screen the blood so that we ensure that the blood that is given to you is accurate and it is reliable and it is of good quality and it will not cause any infection to you. Uh, we also do blood grouping such that uh, we determine if uh, you are compatible if the blood that you are receiving is your real blood type because giving incompatible blood can really lead to serious damage to your system. Uh, so uh, some of the areas that you can actually specialize uh, when you take medical laboratory science as a degree include uh, clinical chemistry. So in clinical chemistry, uh, it is generally concerned with the analysis of body fluid for the diagnostic of uh, therapeutic purposes. You can also specialize in hematology. Hematology, it is a branch, It's of course it's a branch of medicine um, that you will deal with blood and blood products treatment, uh, prevention of disease, um, which involves blood. Everything that involves blood is, is, is done in 
hematology. There is also coagulation, also known as clotting. Actually, coagulation is just clotting. So um, uh, this is the process whereby the blood changes from liquid to a gel form, thus stopping the bleeding that takes place into your system. So po po this potentially results into what we call hemostasis. So you can also specialize in microbiology. And when we speak of microbiology, the micro part, micro, micro meaning tiny. Eh? It is the scientific study of microorganisms. Eh? Those uh, being unicellular, multicellular, or cellular organisms, everything. Or, and in microbiology disciplines that include uh, virology, bacteriology, parasitology, mycology. Mycology is just generally the study of fungi and um, also immunology and uh, parasitology like I mentioned before. Uh, so when you are doing bacteriology, now bacteriology you just major in the study of bacteria whereby you will study the morphology, the ecology and bacteriology is actually a very interesting uh, a bit of it because uh, um, at, 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 at when you are doing bacteriology you are actually able to culture culturing means you actually physically grow the bacteria in the laboratory and you are able to see morphologically how they look like and after you have grown the bacteria morphologically in the lab you can actually perform some identification tests to the bacteria that you have grown to determine which bacteria it is now after this uh, there is what we call a sensitivity or susceptibility testing so sensitivity testing you actually try and see which drug can actually clear a particular bacteria so you'll put various antimicrobial drugs um, to the to, 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 to the grown bacteria and see if 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 actually it clears it uh, so there's also toxicology toxicology like toxic substances um, it is a subdiscipline but in there are these these uh, these disciplines are interconnected in the sense that um, uh, you find that in toxicology we will require things like uh, again biochemistry chemistry part and the pharmacological part of it uh, so you can also specialize in parasitology which generally is the study of parasites and the parasitology it determines how organisms in, in the environment cause infection and here is whereby we find diseases like malaria and also these uh, parasites like hookworms all these are in, found in parasitology uh, so mycology is also uh, it's a branch of biology uh, that majorly studies the fungi you know there are some lethal fungi that can actually cause an infection to human beings uh, so immunology is also a branch um, it covers the study of the immune system and microorganism um, how your body responds to changes and actually uh, immunology is a uh, um, a branch in medical laboratory science that I want to say that it is very very important important why immunology is important because it this is where we find most disease markers when you are infected with a disease eh, you are able to produce immunological response to this disease and this immunological response to the disease actually help us to diagnose specific diseases in your body so immunology is a very important and a very vital subdiscipline of medical laboratory science so we have things like histopathology blood banking uh, histocompatibility cytopathology so these are all disease related subfields whereby we now def try to define the etiology the origin the cause the cause of a, of, 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 of a disease yeah uh, uh, so just as I wind up, I will give you a brief uh, uh, process of um, um, how you get to study to study medical laboratory science. So according to me, since I'm from Kenya, I'll, 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 I'll tell you the process of how you get to study medical laboratory science. So, so, so the very first part is that you have to pass uh, and actually meet the criteria of admission to a medical laboratory science course. So after that, um, during your first year, we have our regulatory body, regulatory body. This body is called Kenya Medical Laboratory Technologists and Technicians Board. In short is KMLTTB. So once you are 
placed to study medical laboratory science you apply for it and you are placed uh, the, re the regulatory body will actually uh, note down you will actually be required to apply and register with them immediately that you are actually doing the medical laboratory science as a course and you will also need to know your institution they will also need to know the institution you are in so you will be given an indexing card so this indexing card you will keep it for all your four year course um, until you finish so once you finish the medical laboratory laboratory science course uh, you will actually be required to now go and register for an exam with the with the, the kenya medical laboratory technologists and technicians board so once you do the exam that is when you are given an okay to practice and you are actually given a registration certificate that states that you are a qualified medical laboratory technologist and uh, you are also given a practicing license so that is when you can actually get accredited to perform tests um, anywhere in in the country it's a nice journey and i'll I'd encourage all of you to actually consider it as a course uh, you should not shy away from it it's a good experience if you love science if you love laboratory if you love the microscope if you love the equipment this is the best course to undertake and uh, it will help you it will help you it, it has very many avenues you can actually do a lot of research you can actually do a lot of things when you study medical laboratory science so it's just that and even as i finish I still want to um, encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is actually the first time um, I'm actually in front of a camera and it wasn't easy. But um, uh, thank you for watching and uh, subscribe to my channel. Bye.